We're back, people, in the city of caverns. Imowen is looking for traps. Gotcha. I don't think there are any. Uh oh. Imps. Ah, we gotta play a game. Play the game. Okay. So the game is these imps, they'll summon five big people. And we talk to him. This like this guy is supposed is to be too dark dark creepy. We talk to him. I really want out of here. He'll give us a hint and then he'll give us an item. The item won't belong to the person. We have to go around and figure out what item belongs to what person and put it in the chest behind him. Nothing to it. If you know a bit about Forgotten Realms lore you can figure it out without too much trouble. Now, the problem is, is I th believe there are five traps on here. So, we have to be very careful, because I don't remember where they're all at. This is the chest with the uh, treasure and the nasty nasty. I don't know what it is. I've never tried to open it without playing the game, so. Fun. Okay. So just be very careful uh, when you have whoever looking for traps. Go slow. Unless you're doing a speed run, you've got time. Okay. Make our way over this way. the rest of them. BAM! Okay, that should be it, right, but are. I'm still gonna have her look and uh, take my time. Ah, it is good to adventure in such a place. The blood quickens knowing that evil is so near. I'm trying to disarm traps, bud. these up here. There's two. Beholder! He's funny. We'll get to him in a minute. <sighs> I think there might be one more along here. But I am not sure. Doesn't look like it. Okay, it doesn't seem like we're gonna trigger him talking, so. 
Alright. So there's no traps. Anyway. So here are the people. Drist. You know him. Alright, self draw novels. Uh Piergeron, I believe. I don't know who he is. This is the only place I've ever heard of him. This is uh Alestrial. Uh I believe she's one of the seven sisters. I think. Kelvin Blackstaff. His items should be obvious. And big magic is found these pits like flies. Talk to him. You have my attention. Okay, so he's giving us a riddle of what he's missing, okay. And you know, I vanquished many, one of two. Drist wields dual scimitars. And he gives us a helmet. The helmet belongs to this guy. Hey. Gives me the staff. Okay. So we'll go back here. And we'll drop off the helmet. Hello there. Yep. It's not obvious what she wants, but it's a necklace. Kelvin! Pendant of silver. And we'll just get big. I can offer some guidance, but I will not interfere in your destiny. The um I can't remember what the name of the first Elminster book is, but uh, if you're interested in his past, he it's it's an awesome, awesome read. Elminster gets the pipe. Kelbane gets the stuff. But uh, yeah, by Ed Greenwood. It's it is a wonderful book. learn a lot about Elminster. And he gets the scimitar. Oh, we got it right. Yay! We'll protect you from the nasty. So, some sort of specter. I assume it would be like level drain or whale of banshee or something that can kill us. Ah, sucker! <laughs> that was fun. Okay. <sighs> Pogger protection plus two. Boots of etherealness. I don't have much use for the boots, so. Okay, so we can bring people up here. And, uh. <laughs> we'll do a quick save. See how good her lore is. Okay, identify that. So we'll be wearing that. There you go. Pass that off to Minsky by. Okay, so. Emily got a level up, level 12. She gets 4, 5, and 6. And another proficiency. Da, 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 da. What do we want to put it in? It doesn't matter. I mean, I know what she's going to end up having. She's gonna have. She's gonna be using quarter staff. Oh, well, let's put it in long sword. Get her spells picked for when we rest next time. So, for let's do that one. Wait a minute. Does Kelsey know that one? Okay. So, pick something else out for her. Let's pick out. Uh, Improved visibility. 
Low resistance. And six. She can finally learn. Yeah, true sight. I remember writing it about there. Who's next? Who levels up next? <laughs> Looks like it's going to be Valigar. Adamin. Oh, come on. Long way. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to go talk to the Boulder. If you have someone with a high enough wisdom to talk, um, you can uh, finagle away through the conversation. Uh, let's see. For party members, other people that can do it. Let's see. Uh, and I know Edwin can do it. And I know uh, Keldorn can do it. And if your protagonist has a high enough wisdom, they can do it. But uh, you're doing uh, sneaky conversation stuff, so talk to him. He's a little funny. So, well, don't try and touch the chest. So we gotta talk to him and talk him into letting us look. Well, uh, what's, what do you guard? Whatever's in the chest. What's up with those imps anyway? I like talking to this guy. How did you come to be here? Oh. Can we get you out of this? Nope. Alright, this is where the wisdom comes in. Are you sure we can't see what's in that chest? Because if a beholder's guarding it, it has to be cool. <laughs> ah, and the rest of it. Did he summon you to guard the chest? Or what's inside it? Screw my chest, as I recall. The spear was being thrust through his own chest at the time, though, so he could have been talking about that. Ah. How about you open it? A den of stinking evil. Cover your nose, fool. A tooth. We will leave no crevice untouched. <laughs> Kill the imps. Mm. There we go. Now we have to get to the rebel base. I feel like I'm playing Star Wars. We must go to the rebel base. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry, I have a bit of the sniffles. Do do do. <laughs> I'm pleased that you came across me when you did. This group does good things. That's right. I'm getting better at using the cursor keys to move around. Ugh. We're gonna run across um, Sogwin. Oh, we're making our way there, so... Let me check the map. We'll go up here, move along, and go down. The base is over here. But I find that's the easiest way to get there. But, you know, I really should be fighting the Sogwin because I want the XP. But... There's plenty of XP to be had. 
If it comes down to it, I'll just have Imoen uh, erase and learn spells. <laughs> I've always gone through the city of caverns. I've never not gone through them. Tensor's transformation. Not that I use it. I've never used it. I know spells that I've never used. <laughs> what does that say? What does that tell you? Of course. I've never role-played this game either. Maybe I should have done that. Here we are. <laughs> Kelsey, what the hell are you? you Kill it! Fire! Justice. save. Because we have the orb and the tooth, we can get in here. We still have to fight Sogwin. Go for the eyes, boo! Go and for the eyes! Their range. Yes! So. Stop to shoot him! I always feel bad if I see like a little scroll icon. The treasure bag. Because uh, I can't get to him. Dropping this bowl. place is just bowl. too darn creepy. I really want out of here. Well, it's okay. Nothing good. And then we will go down here. And I'll save. No, 
we can go talk to the prince. He's just as crazy as his king. I don't know why the voice acting in Sagwin City is so whispery and low. Okay, they want a Uh, a double cross. Try for peace. Okay, well, we're gonna do it. Get more XP. <laughs> XP whoring. So, they gave us a fake heart. And as you can see, shit's happening, so... Once we get back to the uh, city proper, it's gonna be fight time! Sagwin Heart. Pass this stuff around. Okay, uh, I know she can't identify that. She knows that one. Okay, now we just gotta make our way all the way back. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to the Underdark after this. <laughs> it's not super difficult, but Drow have high magic resistance, so you end up just Hack them, hack them, you know, and try and disrupt their spells. And just keep hacking away. But it's the, uh, uh, the Mind Flayer City. Which I have to go through because I want the Equalizer Sword. And, uh, I'm debating whether or not to go, go through the Beholder City because that's, I got a lot of experience, but there's also stuff there that I don't like. There's some mind flare battles and elder orbs are not fun. So I'm sorry if you don't want to hear that. Tough. Did we come that way? We must have. Okay. They've killed the priest assesses us. She's okay. Oh no, nope, there's a scroll. I'll get on it right away. So I have to make our pop up there and grab that scroll. Oh, it's globe of invulnerability. Invulnerability. See me now. <sighs> Sell what we can. <laughs> Sell the just skin ring. Um, definitely don't need that. 
sighting. Parts of the cost to identify. Yeah, identify those. And I'm just gonna sell them. So there we go. Does she go hostile? Ah, it is good to adventure Not in such yet. A place. Oh, that's right. The she doesn't go hostile. Quickens knowing yet. that evil is so near. Okay. Save. We're gonna get ready for a fight. This new cat because that's what I want. Whew, okay. Okay, they both have stone skin. So. Protection from evil. And. Our faith. I'm still here. And our faith. Vocalize and Emowyn, what what can you cast? And she'll cast Armor Faith. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm hurrying. Because I don't want some of those spells to wear off. And this was all the prince wanted was he wanted to be in charge. Holding. Okay. So we're going to what move the body. Do? You're standing on it, you bastard. to double cross none will see me now my blade that'll teach you here we go that's not right ah uh, we are all Strange. heroes you and boo and i hamsters and rangers uh, everywhere okay we can still get it Massenville's building, the Rebel's Heart, that's the fake one, and the Wave Blade. If you've always wondered, how do you get the other bit of the Wave Halberd? This is where you get it. He has 
Summoning Freed, Key to the Treasury, a Magic Rope, and a Spear! Check the Treasury, we get Rat of Lonely Might, Protection from Elements, and Sogwin Scribe Notes, which we'll leave. Okay. Ugh, so we got the Treasury. And we need the magic rope to get out of here. Hand off this stuff to M O N. The wave, one half. The other half we will be getting when we get back. That doesn't go there, but that's what I'm calling it. Impaler. Really good spear. So, that will go to rolls. And we'll stuff this stuff in the bag folding. Identify. Okay, text from elements. And, come on, right click. Mass invisibility. I don't believe we have an identify scroll. I should have bought him off that mage. Growl! Okay. Anyway, you'll have to trust me that that's the route of worldly might. We have two level ups. We have Velikar. Gets an additional level one spell. And Enemin, level. 16 cleric. One, two, three, six. Okay. And we're just gonna stick it all on flail. Max that sucker out. And we'll do sanctuary. We'll do silence. Move paralysis. Paralysis. Blah. Almost said paralysis. Oh, bolt of glory. And of course, who's next? I don't know why I look at Rose. Oh, she's only got three. 250,000? Yeah. Okay. Just ask. Not now we get to walk all the way back. The uh, priestess that we were buying and selling from will be PO'd now. Eh, we're not gonna kill her. Oh, I don't wanna walk. I'm sorry. If you don't approve of my cheating, my cheating heart. Go down here. So there's a well in the rubble base. And that's what we used to get down to the Underdark by using the magic rope. We're going to get to the well, then we're going to rest. This place is empty. Uh. So that's it. Hmm. And I believe flirts are shut off for chapter 5, which is what we'll be going into. So let's get a little. Snuggly Wuggly. Okay. We'll do a quick save before you rest in case shit happens. <laughs> Never know. Rest. Sleep. How do they get rats down here? 
There we go. And it's time for the Underdark. One of my favorite cutscenes. Use the magical rope to climb down. There's no way back. Oh, not they this part. Well on the, surface. the temple of their false god has been defiled. I am pleased. My revenge will soon come. We did not act for your benefit, Irenicus, though you did offer some interesting opportunities. Yes, Matron Mother. Excuse my careless words. Our first prisoners arrive, Matron Mother. These two rank high among the surface scum, Matron. What is to be their fate? Their presence sickens me. Kill them. Perhaps it would be better to interrogate them first. Journalist! What are you doing with these monsters? You are one of... An odd way to question, Arenicus. Did you not like his tone? I reconsidered, Matron. Your command was the wiser. Oh, David Warner. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. The great depth. Yep, we're in the Underdark. This is it. I love this cutscene. Because it really does give you an idea of what's going on in the area. That's that bridge. Whatever you want. Let's get everybody down here. And as you can see, we got some experience and chapter five. Yes, yes, I have to keep looking at this. I love experience, so. It hasn't been too long, but... Uh, should I stop here? Uh, let's get to the Durgar merchant. And watch yourself, there's uh, mind flayers up here. So don't stray too close, unless you want to fight them. Be ready! Here we go! Wait, I don't speak under common. The neck biter. <sighs> Let's have a look. I'm always willing to sell. Well, now that we have that, we don't need that. Do -do -do -do. What's in here? Anything we can sell? Why the hell do we still have ashen scales? Okay. Oh, a flame dance ring. Identify Rod of Lordly Might. Get rid of it. And now, spells. Uh, can't remember. Does she have spell sequencer? Okay, I gotta check everyone's spells real quick. Okay. She does have spell sequencer. Okay. Well, I'm glad I stopped. Shop. Shop. Okay, so we want to look at spells. Need one of those. Oh, 
need one of those for, uh, I believe it's Kelsey's cloak upgrade, Throne of Ball. Okay. I think we'll buy the rest of the Freedom Scrolls. And that's it. That's save. Hold on to that. You go there. Okay. I still haven't used his spell sequencer. <laughs> okay. So, I'll stop there. We will continue and you'll get to see me go through the Underdark. <sighs> anyway, I will see you later.